Ophthalmologists are used to being able to see um, the eye um, with their own eyes. Uh, so whenever any of the media become op opaque, uh, we have a problem in seeing structures. So in this case, the ultrasound is the only solution to uh, show us what's really going on, uh, no matter if it's the anterior segment or the posterior segment. The ultrasound is superior to OCT when the media are opaque just because of the nature of light. Uh, no matter if you mean the anterior segment OCT or posterior segment, the problem is that the light doesn't go through op 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 opaque media. And uh, if you want to, to, to visualize uh, retina, uh, you can only visualize the macula and the region between the arcades plus the optic nerve with the OCT. With the ultrasound, uh, you can see whatever you want going to the periphery of the retina and the anterior segment. iCube is ideally suited to finding all the answers because it has two different options with two different probes. One is 10 MHz probe, which is excellent in, in terms of resolution and penetration. Uh, and you can see basically all the structures with the, with the dynamic uh, image, which is, which is really excellent. When it comes to the 40 MHz probe, it's wide angle and it shows us everything uh, to the level of the posterior capsule of the lens. When you go to the uh, ciliary body, you can easily see pars plana, uh, including all the uh, tumors and uh, the pathologies there. The eye cube can be used with, uh, within all the subspecialties in ophthalmology, mainly because for every single subspecialty we have a specific uh, setting. Uh, when it comes to uh, intra and extraocular structures, which you can visualize both, uh, if you're a refractive surgeon or a cataract surgeon, you will find perfect solutions with, with eye cube, no matter if you want to size the um, phakic uh, intraocular lens within the anterior chamber or you're a posterior uh, segment surgeon and you want to see whether the patient has retinal detachment or just PVD. Resolution is clue to uh, get the diagnosis. Without the best resolution, you cannot diagnose patients well, especially when it, when it comes to the uh, vitreous cavity and diagnosing structures close to retina, like vitreous hemorrhage. Uh, that's really the very important thing. If you compare systems with 20 frame, fr uh, frames per second and like 17 frames per second, it's not the same picture that you see uh, in the screen, and this is the difference. Real-time imaging is, is really the key to success when it comes to the posterior segment uh, imaging, uh, mainly because of uh, the resolution issues and uh, diagnosing differential diagnosis of, of membranes within the posterior segment. When it comes to signal-to-noise ratio, especially in terms of intraocular inflammation, seeing cells within the vitreous cavity, it makes really the diagnosis faster and more accurate. Um, at the same time, um, Alex provides the good quality, very good quality, very good resolution with just one probe, which is 10 MHz. The doctor doesn't have to make a decision where, whether to use 10 or 20 MHz probe for the posterior segment, uh, what other companies offer. So with just one probe, you have perfect resolution and uh, very good imaging.